Hello, in this tutorial I will try to model that gun in Cinema 4D but uh, I will use another technique called sub open subdivision so it is going to be a little bit different but it's going to be faster and this is the render result So let's start. First thing, let's load our image to the front. And I will press M and E to wish to polygon plan mode. And I will try to I will start to mesh the image and press control to make extrusion. Okay, we created our base model, base mesh. Now let's select those points and scale them on the X axis. And here also and here. Those points need to be perfectly straight. Okay, now I will select all my polygons and I will extrude them. And also, let's go to mesh, axis center, and center the axis. And I will put that object into symmetry object. And let's change the plane. But I did something wrong when I did the uh, axis center. So let's enable axis and enable snap and let's move the axis to center edge. Now let's put symmetry one more time. Okay, let's check on these op options. We need some extrusion around here. So to do that, I will move 
extrude inner and I will just move them and now I will switch my modeling axis and offset my axis to 100% on x-axis so I can scale it like this Now I will select those points and move them. And these ones. I am trying to make a circular shape. Okay, that's enough for here. Now let's move to the next part. Let's make a hole right here. But before doing that, I will make a cut right in the middle. And Let's see. Let's make an extrusion and delete. Let's do the same thing here. But let's make a loop cut right in the middle. Extrude and delete. And let's move that polygon. Something like that. And let's make a loop cut also here. Right in the middle. Press shift. Now I will add a cylinder. We need, we need a hole right here, so I'm gonna do that. Select those polygons and extrude inner. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16, minus 2, 14 points, so we need 14 segments. And I will see which slide and match those points. They don't have to match perfectly because we won't see those holes, but again, it's, it's another detail. Okay, now let's select those polygons and they are actually selected. I will press NNG to switch wireframe mode and I will bridge them by pressing shift. But before that, let's move those points. They are causing problems, I think. Okay, it worked. Now we created all of our holes. 
and also let's don't forget here let's add a disk it's eight segments and let's change our mode to higher frame and let's enable snap actually let's make this six segments okay we have another hole right here but this time we need it's segments and let's snap them okay we are done with this piece now i will switch my edge mode go to select and on break selection and let's is that angle and let's select all so these are the edges but I don't want this to be selected, so I will deselect them. Also here, here. And those ones. I am trying to select the edges that I want them to be sharp okay but forget something we need to extrude those parts so that's And also let's select those edges. Okay, we are good to go. Now I will add a subdivision surface, but I will change my mode to open subdivision. And keep that for subdivision. Now these are edges that are selected. Now I will put my last selection, subdivision surface, and give them 75 strength. And that's And let's turn off angle limit. Let's make it five to see it better. Okay, some parts are too sharp, so I will fix them. Let's start with here. Let's make it 50. make it 35 okay better and I want this 
these edges to be sharp so let's make it 75 okay and these are too strong let's select them let's make them 30. and these ones are also too strong so i will select them and make them 10 percent maybe lower Those edges look too strong, so let's select them and give them a person strength. Okay, that looks a lot better. Also, these ones. Let's make it 75. Actually, no. Okay, that's better. And this one's. Let's give those edges 50% strength also. Okay, but here I will change to zero. Before moving to the next part, I will change some points. Let's select those inner parts and just scale them. Also here and I will select those polygons and right click normal move. It's gonna add some thickness to those parts. And also let's select here. Starting from here until yeah, here. And let's move them on the Z axis. 